Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching VentureTube. Welcome to another episode of Two Tip Tuesday. Today, I'm going to show you something that not only can be used for kayak fishing, but for uh, many other purposes like camping, maybe kayak camping, uh, normal camping, um, during bad weather. Uh, very versatile pieces of equipment that uh, I've used a lot and decided I'd do a video on it. So let's get started. So you guys are basically getting three tips this Tuesday, so I might have to change the name of the show. Item number one here, this is a solar panel. It's a foldable solar panel uh, that is very, very useful. I'll go over each of these items in detail here in just a second. This is a battery. It's a backup battery. Again, I'll go over it in a second. And this right here is just a Bluetooth portable speaker. All three of these items are made from the same company, Anchor. I'll go over each one of them briefly and let me give you a closer look. Okay, here's a closer look of the Anchor Solar Charger. It's got a nice little Velcro attachment here and it folds out and you get four solar panels. What do you use this for? Obviously to produce power to charge like your phone, your GPS, or anything really in an emergency situation. You'll see here it says 14 watt solar charger. And this puts out 14 watts with maximum sun. That's its maximum output. But it, it is very well made. It's got these two little aluminum grommets where you can uh, tie things off. I tied on a piece of paracord and I can hang this from a tree in the evenings uh, when the sun's, you know, not coming straight overhead. And if you have it laying flat, you're not going to get the maximum output of the panels. That's just a look at the panels. Again, folds up nicely. Velcro attachment. Very light. I carry this on my motorcycle. I carry this on my kayak, on my pro angler. And what's neat about it, I'll show you, this right here, these two rings will fit snugly over the front little nubs for your hatch bungees and it'll keep this panel in place. So let's say you're taking a kayak camping trip and your phone's dying, uh, you got an alternate power source here and it attaches nicely on the front hatch so you can lay it out on the front, charge up uh, your phone. Over here, it's got a little Velcro pocket and you have a spot for two USB so you can charge two, two items at once. Doesn't matter if you got an iPhone, an Android, a Garmin GPS, as long as you got the USB cable with you, you can plug it right in here to these two USB ports. But this thing works great guys. Ordered it off Amazon. It's an Anchor product. I've had a few of their products and so far I'm really uh, pleased with their, their workmanship and quality. You could use this in inclement weather let's say i'm in texas you know we get a lot of hurricanes and you know your power goes out well at least you can take this outside and charge your phone or charge something that you know you may can use a flashlight or or whatever but that's the anchor solar charger you guys go on uh, amazon and check them out read the reviews they're great and it's just a really neat little product to have and if you're making a long kayak trip or like I said even a camping trip with the family. If you do a lot of primitive camping where there's no water or no electricity uh, this can really help you out. So all right let's move on to item number two. Okay item number two again made by Anchor. This is basically a battery just like a battery in your phone this is just a bigger one. Now it comes with the charging cable. The input is just a micro USB. I'm sure you have those laying around at your house. We have a million of them. It's got two USB outputs. One is a one amp, one is two amp. It's got a little battery indicator here by these four dots. It's indicated by those four dots there. When you hit this chrome button, I don't know if you can make that out, but two of those LEDs are lit up lit up right now so I'm a 50% power so roughly you could say 7,000 milliamp hour reserve left. This is 15,000 milliamps so I could charge my phone probably about 10 times from completely being dead with this anchor battery here. So 
And another little neat thing about it is if you hit the button twice, you got a little LED flashlight there. This is what I use my solar panel for. I take my solar panel and when I got good sunlight, I'll take my panel, open it up, take the micro USB cable, plug it in here, and plug this into the solar panel and just set it there. So this is charging. So then if I'm out on a kayak fishing trip uh, and I don't want to bring the panel, I got this thing. This will completely charge my phone really quickly. And again, this is another tool that's great for camping. If you got kids, they can plug up their phones to it, charge it. Tablets, I can charge my little Asus tablet with this thing. I can charge pretty much anything. Like I said, if you got a USB cable that runs to it, then plug the USB into here and you can charge it. But you got 15,000 milliamp hours there. Now they do make them bigger, uh, larger uh, capacity than this, but at that point it starts getting pretty bulky and this looked nice and was slim and you know probably weighs about a pound, pound or two maybe. And it comes with this nice little carrying bag because it is with this finish very slippery and you could drop it so normally keep it in this little bag now you have a way to get harvest your free sunlight into this battery and carry this with you whether you're camping kayaking uh, or whatever it's just a neat neat little guy also purchased it on amazon so you guys check it out okay last but not least here is item number three again also made by anchor this is a portable Bluetooth speaker. I like this little speaker because one, it fits in the cup holder of the Hobie Pro Angler uh, very well. And I put it in there upside down. So if water splashes over the side, it, it splashes on this rubber base instead of going into the, the speaker grill. I think it's loud for the amount of money you pay for it. Uh, I think it was under 30 bucks and it sounds pretty darn good. And again, this is something I can charge off the solar panel or plug it into that battery, but when I'm out kayaking or I'm out camping and I want some tunes, this thing puts out enough noise to you know, satisfy me but not disturb the neighbor. Very neat little product and works really well. Now this, this unit is not waterproof. It's a, it's a risk I've been taking and I haven't had any problems. You guys get on Amazon. This was ordered from Amazon. Check it out. Read the reviews. Great little tool to have and you can have some tunes out there when you're kayaking, when the fish ain't biting. Lay back, lay in the sun, get you some tan because I know you're probably pasty white because of all this cold weather. So just lay back and enjoy you some nice music. Okay guys, that about wraps up this episode of Two Tip Tuesday. I really hope it helped you out. Out of all three of the products, I really say all of them are not a necessity, but it's just a, a great uh, tool to have when you need them. And the solar charger, I would highly recommend if you do get a solar charger to get some kind of battery to plug into it. I use this sometimes when I'm working out in the garage. I'll lay this outside and charge this thing up, uh, even if it takes me a couple days. I'll leave it outside and I've charged this 15,000 milliamp battery for free and I can charge a lot of different devices with this. So great tools to have, all made by Anchor, amazon.com. Check them out. Guys, if you like this video, please give me the thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the VentureTube channel if you haven't yet. So you guys probably know I'm getting the Adventure Island, the 2015, pretty soon. Uh, hopefully it'll be coming in in the next month or so, keeping my fingers crossed there. But again, guys, appreciate your support. And check me out on my website at www.venturetube.net and I will catch you guys on the next episode. Come on.